Ukemboi, I will say again and again, Zeki, it's not a solution. Mimi mali nafanya kazi kwa familia, we've worked with Kimboys. Mm. Na wakikuelezea yale masaibu wanapitia hapo inje, you don't wish for mtu a Kimboy. Mm. Kuliko ukemboi, uwekewe kesi, wambu urirepu mtoto. Na unajua consequences za kurepu huko. Mm. Utafungwa, utauawa, watu wa kwenye wa watawai kuona. Over half a million. That's over half a million. So, umwarabu atakuwa na hofu. Spending half a million kwa mtu, alafu amtoke. Na hapo nitasema, ndi unapatanga, wewe ukitoroka na bosu wako haja kukosea, huwa anakuwa na machungu na anakuwekea makosa. Mm -hmm. Unapata anasema, ulimuibia gold ya elf miyamoja. So, madam, mm -hmm. uh, umesema, kuna deo. Yeah. Hakuna kuenda kanisa. Mm -hmm. But sasa kama mambo ya pesa yako mshara, mm -hmm. unezaje kutuma nyumbani ama kuinvest? Ok, wo, venye watu ufanya, mm -hmm. kuna kitu inaitua STC Pay. Mm -hmm. STC Pay ni, ni app yenye bosu wako anatuma, anatuma pesa kwa banki, anaweka kwa STC yake ama yako, kama amekunulia mm -hmm. line ya STC ya Saudi. Mm -hmm. Then your pesa inatumwa kwa mpesa yako. So, ukona access ya pesa yako, mm -hmm. uneza ituma nyumbani vile unataka. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, example, unangalia pale Saudia. Mm -hmm. Sana sana Saudia, ama hata doha, inuwe. Mm -hmm. Mtu natuma pesa nyumbani, mm -hmm. natumia mamake, anamambia ni nulie shamba, mm -hmm. ni nulie ngombe, mm -hmm. njenge, nulie watu tuza nguo. Mm -hmm. Kwa unapata mtu wako hata nulie nguo. Unapata hata iyo shamba, unataka kunua, ija nuliwa. Sasa kama we umemanage kuinvest hapa nyumbani ama umemanage ya funds zako? Ok, mi nime, nime manage kuinvest na mm. nashukuru God kwa kunipea hiyo neema. Mm. Nimefanyia mama yangu 1, 2, 3 nikamtoa kwa kanyumba enye alikuwa at least ya na nyumba watoto wangu wana enjoy. Mm. Kama ni kulipa nguo, watoto ni wakubwa, unaweza watuma kwa, kwa shop, unawambia, angalia ni nguo zenye mnataka. Ile shop ikona pay bill, unalipa? na pay bill. Yeah, yeah. Gasi kiisha, unalipa na pay bill. Mm. So, amuta kosana na mzazi, amuta kosana na ndugi yako. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So, actually, nimeingia TikTok yako, kuna following kubwa sana pale. Mm. Unajita mama yao, giana, yeah. giana, giana fortune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, nimuona pale ukisema, unasaidia sana watu wa make boy, mm -hmm. pale Saudia, unasaidia wasi mm -hmm. chana wanyana teseka, mm -hmm. maybe by emotional support, sa zingine, maybe, una, sivivili unawasaidia. Okay. But, Hata recently umuona kuna issue na trend sana, wasichana wamenda maali, wameanza kuhuzua, mambo mingi. Mm -hmm. So kama wewe mwenye unafanya job huko, uneza tueleze hizi vitu vile unasupport wasichana huko, ama life yuko aje huko. Ok, ok, mimi, mm. my, my main aim ni, kwe, ni kubadilisha jina Saudia. Mm -hmm. Saudia inachukuliwa ni ni kama kichinjio, mm -hmm. saudiwa inachukulua ni kama mali pabaya. Mm -hmm. But em yangu ni kuonyesha wasichana ya kwamba, ukienda saudia, lazima it's good you make it in life. Mm -hmm. Kuwe na utofauti. What I do, mwanzo, tu, tuna, tuna kuanga na group. Mm -hmm. Tukona group ya watu. Ok, umongelea kusu kemboi. Mimi, mm -hmm. I don't advocate for kemboi. Mm -hmm huwa si advocate for kemboy in any way. Na mi uambia wasichana sana. Juu wakati una kemboy pale nje, mwanzo, this is, it is illegal. Kutoka tu kwa nyumba ya sponsor, kutoka nje kutoroka, hiyo unaisabiwa ni makosa. Na inagadhabu yake. Mm -hmm. So, mi I don't advocate for kemboy. Mi uambia watu, kama unapitia mateso, fuatilia the right channel. We are here, tuko watu wengi ambao tuna motivate watu. Na ukikuja inbox zetu, we can direct you on what to do. Mm -hmm. We can help you. Tumesaidia wasichana wengi hata ku reach out boss. Unajua mm -hmm. wacha ni kuambie zeki. Mm -hmm. Mwarabu. Mwarabu anaogopa sheria kama kitu kingine. Mm -hmm. Na mwarabu aki realize wewe unajua sheria. Anakuogopa. Mm -hmm. What we do? Kwa Google, kuna sheria za, za, za Saudia. Kuna sheria zinaonyesha mstana ukimtreat, kuna sheria inaonyesha uki, ukirep mstana na the consequences, kuna sheria inaonyesha ukikata kunipeleka hospitali. So what we do, instead ya kuambia mstana kemboi, 
just look for namba ya kimwajeri wake we talk to the boss tunaambia tajiri wewe umekataa kulipa huu msichana unajua sheria inasema ya kwamba huu msichana akifanya kazi anafaa kulipwa mm. na ule mwarabu akiona umejua hivyo anakwambia kalas i will pay tomorrow mm. na huyo msichana hata kosa kulipwa tena mm. Ju, hajui ni nani amemwandikia message na hii message tunaandika kwa kiarabu mm. tuna namba za Qatar tuna namba za Saudia tuna mm. namba za Dubai mm. so akiandikiwa na namba ya Dubai aambiwe wewe unajua ni hatia aone hii hi, hi, kitu imeshafika Dubai mm. hata treat ule msichana vibaya mm kama ni ku, ni kutesa anatesa msichana na ni ule mwarabu kichwa ngumu we reach out the office tunauliza ofisi mnajua huu msichana anateseka mume follow aje up na tunaambia mwarabu kama huwezi kaa na huu msichana tunakupa siku mbili rudisha huu msichana kwa ofisi mm. na unapata mwarabu akiona hivyo anaingiza baridi na akiingiza baridi unapata huu msichana amesaidika kuna wasichana wengi wamerudi nyumbani mm -hmm. Now we thank God for that. We thank God for that kabisa. Kukemboi, I will say again and again Zeki, it's not a solution. Mimi mali nafanya kazi kwa familia we've worked with Kemboys. Mm. Na wakikuelezea yale masaibu wanapitia hapo nje, you don't wish for mtu akemboi. Mm -hmm. You just don't wish for mtu akemboi. Jua atakwambia kama wewe unalipwa mshahara yako vizuri, haupigwi tulia huku nje tuna bills tunalipa huku nje tunafanyiwa vituko huku nje tunatembea kama tumejificha juu hawana igama igama ni nini igama ni kitambulisho ya saudia mm -hmm. it is like a work permit mm -hmm. na kila mtu ako lazima akuwe nayo hata mimi niko na yangu hapa mm -hmm. lazima ukuwe nayo so kama we una igama it is illegal kutokuwa na igama mm -hmm. unaona Alafu nitasema hivi leo hii umekemboi na haukuwa unateswa unajua kuna ile story kama hiyo yenye umesema ya msichana ana trend ana 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 anafanywa vituko anakuwa abused mm. unapata msichana kama hule alidanganywa mm. hao hawa madalala kuna wale wazuri atakuwa kwa ukiwa na shida na Before usonge mbele madalala ni nini? <laughs> Dalala yeah. ni wale watu wameishi Saudi miaka na miaka. So, hao watu hukuwa na nyumba. Uh -huh. na nyumba na maybe msichana akitoroka ama akipatwa na shida anakuja wanamhost kwa nyumba zao uh -huh. na wanamtafutia kazi. Uh -huh. Eh? Wanamtafutia kazi lakini si kihalali because it is illegal in Saudi so wanafanya kinyume na sheria mm. yeah so tunaona example kuna jamaa tulikuwa naye kwa show akasema yeye alikuwa anasaidia watu kukimbia and then anasaidia kuwauza mm -hmm. we kuna maalum encounter maybe msichana amekuja kwa kuelezea mimi nitoroka nikaenda kwa nyumba ya kuuzwa ama vitu kama hizi yeah there are so many mm. kuna kuna wengi sana hata kuna mmoja alikuwa anapitia magumu mm. na akaconfessia mm. A, a, alienda wakati alienda kwa ule dalala mm -hmm. akapata ile nyumba ni ya wasichana wa kujiuza mm -hmm. ni mama ana watoto ni ya yake mm -hmm. si kujiuza mm -hmm. so one of the girls kwa hiyo nyumba akamwambia mimi kulingana na venye na kuona hapa utatoboa hapa ile kazi inafanyangwa ni ya kuuza rose coco mm -hmm. na mimi venye na kuona and the way you are praying hapa utatoboa mm -hmm. tafuta kazi uende ama utafute dalala mwingine mwenye atakusaidia. So there are, there are places kuna watu wanajiuza Saudia. Mm -hmm. Na kuna wale wanatoroka na wanaenda wanafanya kazi. There are there mtu amekaa kwa boss mmoja mwaka mbili, mm -hmm. mwaka tatu na anafanya kazi yake. Mm -hmm. yeah. Na unapotanga Zeki, yule mtu ametoroka kwa sababu ya shida mm -hmm. na aende apate mwajiri mzuri huwa anatulia. Lakini kuna huyu anataka pesa nyingi. Hakuna pesa ya haraka. Mm. Anataka utajiri wa haraka. Hakunanga utajiri wa haraka. Mm. Utajiri wa haraka utaupata uta, 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 uta kwa njia ambayo sio halali. Mm. So unapatanga huyo msichana akitoka nje ndio anajiuza. Mm. Na ni mvivu hataki kufanya kazi. Mm. So ana prefer ajiuze short ya dakika mbili ampata hamsini yake. Mm -hmm.
kuliko afanye kazi alipo elfu moja mia nane mwezi mzima ana prefer afadhali yeah, ya msini kila siku mm. mwezi moja nitakuwa almost na how many three thousand mm. sindio ya yeah. fifteen hundred yeah. mm. so ukiona pale saudi ya katari wapi unapata credit credit inakuwa expensive very sasa kama we unapigia ngaji nyumbani ongea na watu wasema kuna watu wane <laughs> ya yeah. ok mimi vile mimi ufanya uh -huh. eh, nili download app Mm -hmm. Nili download app yeah. inaitwa Tokom mm -hmm. na hiyo app unapiga simu nyumbani it doesn't matter kama mm -hmm. mzazi ako unajua wazazi wetu tunawanulianga smartphone kidogo unasikia hili yangu ka ikavunjika sijui sina bundle sijui <laughs> nini sasa unamwambia sasa we tumia tu mlika mwizi mimi mm -hmm. mwenyewe nitakuwa na kukon mm -hmm. una 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 buy una buy credit through mpesa mm -hmm. then una call home hata akiwa offline akiwa hana bundles you mm -hmm. just call na mnaongea na watoto tokom siko ni ya kenya ama ni ya saudi ama ni ya wapi tokom ni ni app hiyo app ni ya kenya ama ni ya saudi ama ni ya wapi ni ya kenya uh -huh. but ina ina inatumika sana na watu wako abroad uk ah, qatar ah, wako dubai ya wako based mm -hmm. hapa in kenya mm -hmm. yeah Okay that's nice maybe ju tuna time sana yeah. unaweza ambia nini makemboi wa Qatar makemboi wa Dubai UAE ma, kila mahali ni uko na experience sana na watu Okay mimi kitu nitaambia kemboi mm. ndio ulitoka nje na wewe ndio unajua ile kitu ilikutoa nje wewe mwenyewe unajielewa na kitu kitu yenye ilikutoa Kenya ni job ukipata kazi fanya kazi Ya, yeah, hizi aibu ndogo ndogo mara mmepigana, mara mmeenda kulewa, mara sijui mmepiga mwanaume muache. Na hata mkifanya hizo vitu mnafanya, msiweke kwa mtandao. Juu mkiweka kwa mtandao, mnachomea wenzenyu. Mm. Kuna mtu wako pale nje, ana struggle kufanya kazi juu anajua kwao kuko vibaya. Anataka atengeneze maisha ya kwao. Na wakati wewe umepeleka starehe yako nje, umepigwa, umeuawa, sijui mmeanikana uchi wenu nje, haileti picha, picha mzuri. I would tell you guys, fanyeni kazi yenye iliwatoa nje. Mfanye tu kazi yenye iliwatoa nje na God at our bless. So last question before tufunge. Mm -hmm. Kiangalia mahali kama Qatar, mm -hmm. juu tumetembea Dubai. Mm -hmm. Watu wanaruhusiwa kukaa na passport zao, document zao, mtu akae nazo amejiwekea. Saudi mnakaa na documents kweli? I'd say 0.01% mm -hmm. ya mwajiri ndiye atakupea passport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how wengine hawatakupea passport. The reason being utatoroka na hiyo passport na pesa yao ita, itapotea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, na they have this notion sisi Kenyans ni wakimbizi. Anakuleta na anasema ustoroke. <laughs> yeah, anakuleta tu na anakuambia ustoroke. <laughs> Tumejulikana kwa kutoroka. So I think one of the reason now matajiri wanaficha hizo passport kama bangi mm. ni situ sitoroke. So unamanisha awa wadosi wenu mm -hmm. before fike Qatar. Mm -hmm. Anaweza kuwa ameji me, expense a lot of money before fike Dubai ama Saudi. I would tell you, okay, wakati nilikuwa na kuja, mm. tulikuwa na, na discussion na my boss. Na mabosa akaniambia niambie ukweli kama utarudi kazi ndio nijipange. Akaniuliza unajua nilispend pesa ngapi kukuleta Saudia? Nikamwambia mimi sijui, mimi nilikuja kazi. Akaniambia nilispend 17,500. 2,000 ilikuwa ya visa. 15,500 nilipea agenti. That's over half a million. That's over half a million. So, umwarabu atakuwa na hofu. Spending half a million kwa mtu, alafu amtoke. Na hapo nitasema, ndi unapatanga, wewe ukitoroka na bosu wako haja kukosea, huwa anakuwa na machungu na anakuwekea makosa. Mm -hmm. Unapata anasema, ulimuibia gold ya elf miyamoja ya uko. So, wakati utataka kurudi nyumbani, Unajua ukitaka kurudi nyumbani automatically message inaenda kwa, kwa kwa namba ya boss wako so mm. atasema huyo alinibia shikeni yeye pelekeni yeye kotini tukutane huko utafungwa bure mm. juu ya ile uchungu ya kuspend mm. so mimi nitasema tena na tena don't kemboi maliza miaka yako mbili urudi nyumbani urudi nyumbani safely 
kuliko ukemboi uwekewe kesi uambi urep mtoto na unajua consequences za kurep huko mm. utafungwa utauawa watu wa kwenu hawatawahi kuona so asante giana kuja kwa show yeah. so hebu waambie kwanza social media unapatikana wapi mimi napatikana tiktok tiktok giana fortune facebook giana fortune instagram Twitter, YouTube, Diana Fortune. Kindly follow me and subscribe. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so guys, thank you for thank watching, you. guys. And make sure me invest kwa mbabishitango kwa Qatar, Saudi Arabia. Eh, hii pesa Qatar na ishaga na Doha, ina ishaga haraka sana. So guys, see you next time and remember to subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.